Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a lovely nail set. I am taking a trend once again. If you guys are new to my channel, I like to take trends and transition them into my own. I always try to put my own twist to them. So it's gonna be kind of anti-Valentine. I feel like I always have to do an anti-Valentine set for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learn a ton. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, I'm starting off by mixing a custom color. I am going to be using the Not Polish color Pinky Promise, and I'm adding that to clear. I unfortunately did not show this process. I realized I was not in frame, but I'm basically just taking a bunch of clear acrylic, putting some of that Pinky Promise acrylic in there to my liking. And I went ahead and swatched it and it looked perfect against my paper towel. However, once I put it on to the nail, I felt like it was a little bit on the light side and I wanted it to be a nice vibrant pink. So I was basically trying to achieve like the perfect uh, French pink color that was a little bit on the sheer side. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more of the Pinky Promise to my liking and I feel like the deeper tone definitely looked a lot better. So now I'm just taking that and we're gonna be using that as our base. I'm only gonna be showing the process on two fingers as I wanna focus more on the nail art process and I kinda just wanted to share with you guys this really pretty pink that I mixed. For today's video, I am using the Not Polish Acrylic Brush in a size 12. Along with that, I'm using their monomer and I'm just taking that powder, like I said, adding a thin layer of that as our base for our nail art. And I'm not making these nails thick at all because of this is a practice hand and I don't need any type of apex or anything like that. So of course, if you are working on yourself or on a client, make sure you place the product appropriately and add the thickness where you absolutely need it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this, then we're gonna get into our filing. Once everything is nice and dry, I am taking the all-new 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. This one is in the color rose gold, like I've mentioned in my other videos. This one has three grids throughout the bit, so it makes for easy, easy access for an all-in-one bit that you don't have to switch out depending on the process you are creating. So for the cuticle area and finished filing, the tip is perfect for that. You have the middle section that's a little bit more on the coarse side, I believe it's medium grit, which is perfect for removing any type of design or top coat. And then you have a coarse part right at the thickest part of the barrel, which is going to be perfect for cutting down, reshaping, and debulking the nail. So for this process, since I just want to kind of smooth out that surface, I'm going to be taking just the tip of that bit. I have my e-file at a speed of about 10 to 11,000 RPMs, and I'm just going very carefully around that cuticle area and then fully throughout the entire nail with very light pressure on that e-file piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that, then we're going to be getting right into our nail art.
I'm taking my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file. Very quickly gonna be filing the sides with these deep C curve tips. I do like to go underneath as well. So you'll kind of get a glimpse of that throughout this filing process that I kind of take my hand file and go a little bit flatter underneath the nail just to kind of bring up that C curve. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of the time if you do use these tips, they kind of curve downwards underneath. So I just quickly, like I said, take my hand file and just file it lightly and that'll straighten it all out. You want the sidewall to be nice and straight all the way down to your tip. So that's basically what I base my thickness off of. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish filing the nails and then we're gonna be buffing the surface. Very, very quickly flipping the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective. We're gonna be squaring these tips off. This is the best angle to view any imperfections that you might have missed from your view. So as you can see, I'm kind of sharing how I really turn those fingers, look at them from different angles to make sure that it is nice and perfect. And if I did have any imperfections, I would correct it at this time. So make sure you guys are always looking at them from every angle possible. Now taking my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage, we're gonna be buffing the surface of the nail and prep for our nail art. You want the perfect canvas so that your nail art brush glides flawlessly on that surface and this is the perfect buffer to do so so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish buffing the nails and then we will move on to our nail art I have absolutely been dying to use these gel liners from Not Polish. This one is the number six from their Disco Liner Collection. It is their reflective glitter line. So I am super excited to be finally using these for today's video. It is a really pretty deep red color, which is perfect for Valentine, Christmas, and all that good stuff. So I'm just basically going to be doing a deep French nail design on this. And I'm just starting off by drawing out that smile line and then we're gonna be infilling the rest of the nail. And I am doing this very carefully. This gel liner is extremely thick in my opinion. So I'm trying to make it as thin as possible but still fully coat that tip. I don't like layering on a bunch of gel on top of the surface because I feel like that makes the nail prone for chipping. So I always try to make sure that all my layers are nice and thin. So I'm focusing on that for this application. And again, I'm just gonna be sharing a few nails of this process with you guys because it is very repetitive and we wanna focus on the important stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this nail. Once you're done with your base smile design, you want to make sure you place it in the light. I am using the Kiara Sky rechargeable LED light and I'm putting it in there for a full 90 seconds on that LED light.
Now, if you are someone that struggles with your smile line, always flip the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective. And you can see how I am having to adjust those smile lines. Even though I think from my angle they looked perfect, you can tell that it still needed a little bit of tweaking. So again, make sure you cure it in the light before you go in with your top coat. But we are gonna be doing topical nail art, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat because I always end up forgetting to do that process. For this set, I am using Gloss It from Not Polish. I'm just gonna be fully coating that, making sure everything is nice and coated with a thin layer of that top coat. Then we're gonna be placing that in the light for a full minute. I like to do the 90 second option on the Kiara Sky Light just to be safe. Once we are out of the light, I'm going in with my nail art. I am using the black gel liner from Not Polish. You can use any gel liner that you have or any gel paint that you have. I personally like them to be a little bit thicker as it just helps with the application. Along with that, I'm using my favorite nail art brushes from McCart. They are linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm just taking a little bit of that black liner and using that for our nail art. So I'm starting off with outlining the heart and I'm trying to kind of place it right in the center, make it as proportionate as I can. And then we're gonna be shaping out that flame. So I'm gonna start off on the side, kind of correcting that heart shape that I originally drew. And then we're gonna be connecting it downwards towards the tip and then flicking it up into that flame shape above the smile line. So I'm just gonna start connecting everything, working my way up, and then infilling any areas that need some black. Now for this nail art, I did decide to, like I said in the intro, kind of switch it up and do broken hearts. So I'm also going to be adding that once I'm done with the flame shape, and I'm just basically doing a zigzag line down the center of the heart. And I also wanted to point out that for the longest time, whenever I do shiny background and then matte nail art over top, I typically will take matte top coat and use another nail art brush to apply that on the areas that I want matte. However, I don't know why I have been disregarding this type of nail art, but I had a light bulb turn on and realize that I could just sugar it with acrylic to make it matte. So that's what we're gonna be doing for today's video. I am going to be sugaring these nails, that way the colored acrylic will mattify that without having to struggle and go in all the little details with matte top coat. So once I'm done drawing this, again, you wanna make sure that it is nice and wet. You do not wanna cure this gel paint at all. Make sure it's nice and wet and we're gonna pour that acrylic over the surface. Going in with my acrylic, pouring that over top of the wet gel paint. And what I like to do is kind of let it sit for a little bit as it's gonna soak into that wet gel paint. And then you'll be able to see a little bit more shine come through from that wet gel paint. So you wanna go in with several layers until you do not see any shine come through. So I'm just gonna repeat that, place that in the light for a full minute. And then I'm just taking a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe and cleaning that off. And you get the perfect matte flame 
without the struggle. So for the ring finger, we are gonna be doing a little bit of an accent now since we are doing the same design on all the other fingers. I like to switch it up on the ring finger and I'm just gonna be doing two broken hearts. So I'm starting off with one side of the heart, doing that zigzag pattern down and filling one side and then we're gonna be doing the other side as well and then a smaller version of that on top of that one. So I'm going to just quickly draw that in again with the black gel paint and then we're going to be doing the same process of sugaring on some of that black powder. Again, you want to wait until there's no shine coming through. Cure that in the light fully. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is the beautiful reflective glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a ton. And I'll see you guys next time.